Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in my hand right here, I have the Ansel AD530, and this thing is really amazing for the price and the size. It's going to do a lot. I'm going to show you guys this. One of my favorite features that we're going to go over in a little tiny bit has to do with this battery tester that is built into here. And unlike most other devices that just kind of give you a range, this actually has a graph and shows you how your vehicle's battery's health is doing. And this is super important, especially as we enter into the winter months, because the batteries can cause all kinds of havoc on your vehicle that sometimes can lead to misdiagnosis. So I'm definitely going to show you guys the battery feature. I'm going to show you guys how to plug this in. So let's go ahead and get this started. So this is the OBD2 connector here. And the nice thing about it is... On most vehicles, you're able to locate this port right here within the driver's footwell area. And it only plugs in one way, so you cannot get this wrong. As soon as you plug it in, you're going to see power on the unit. You want to turn the ignition key to where the check engine light is on, but leave the motor off. All right, so we got the OBD2 reader, which is the first option on here. We got the IM monitors. These stands for inspection monitors. And this is used when you're going to do an inspection or a smog test. And the basic rule is if all your monitors are ready, you should be able to pass smog. And this is super important for when you're buying a vehicle. If somebody is erasing the check engine light right before you show up, this is going to be able to detect that. So this can save you thousands of dollars on your next purchase you got a battery test which is really great I'm gonna show you guys that in a little bit too we got a code lookup review and we got a setup feature so if we go on to the OBD2 side here we're able to go ahead and verify the status of uh, any codes or anything that's pending and as you can see this vehicle has no fault codes here and we could also check the IM monitors data stream. So if we go ahead and hit uh, view all items. Now we're able to view live data on the information on the vehicle. So I can look up the load percentage here on the motor. The fuel system right now is on a closed loop, which is a CL. If it's open loop, you'll see OL. We got the uh, timing advance for the spark plug and run time. The voltages from the oxygen sensors. And this thing is really speedy and reactive, so I'm actually loving this. So those are all those features here. And... Now we can go to where it says uh, the battery. So let's go review that feature now. It says turn the ignition off. And ignition is off. And we're going to go ahead and let this sit for a couple of seconds to burn off any kind of surface charge. Alright, so I'll let that sit for a couple of minutes just for... The video here and our voltage is at 11.85 so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter here to start detection and ignition can now be turned on and right there so it's able to show me exactly what's going on as far as a graph and it lets me know the current voltage so anything between like 13.2 to about 14.6 is going to be normal as far as a good operating voltage for an alternator. So this is within spec. Now I'm going to trigger my check engine light on purpose and we're going to use this to erase the check engine light just to make sure that everything is working as designed. Alright, so my check engine light is on now. You can see. I've triggered my check engine light 
and we're going to go and erase the code here using the scan tool. All right, perfect. So we're going to go on the OBD2 side. And we're going to read the codes. So we got two codes. It tells us what they are. Sensor 1, circuit uh, high, bank 1. So I can go back and right underneath here now. I can go and erase the code. And it sent the data to go and erase the check engine light. And as you can see, my check engine light is gone now. All right, with my check engine light erased now, I'm going to go ahead and hit the IM button on the scan tool here. And this is pretty cool. This is going to be a graphical color-coded interface that kind of lets me know what's going on. As you can see from erasing the check engine light, I have all the green ones that are ready, but the ones that are uh, in orange here are not ready. So if you go to purchase a vehicle and you see anything in orange, that kind of lets you know that there's a pretty good chance that they erased the check engine light before you got there, especially some things like the O2 sensor. Sometimes the EVAP on certain vehicles may take a little while to set. But this is going to be one of those tests that you want to do on every vehicle that you purchase. And it's going to save you a big, big headache because a lot of these newer vehicles, the computer is basically doing a readiness test. And if it can't complete a readiness test, a lot of times you can't pass the smog. So somebody's doing something funny. And this is going to help you avoid that whole transaction and that big headache. All right, guys, well, I hope the video helped you out. And if you guys are in the market for a great little scan tool, OBD2 Raider with the battery tester and the inspection monitors that are color-coded and really easy to use, this is definitely the one I would recommend, especially for the price. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll have a link to this in the description box below. If you guys have any questions, please comment below. Have a great day. Thanks. Hit the subscribe button and I really appreciate your continued support.